Who are some of the guys you want the Browns to retain that can be free agents? You, you've got a number of them. You know, Olivier Vernon's hurt, so I, you know his number will be pretty low. Um, Higgins, Goodson, there, there's a number of them. Who, who are the, the guys that, you know, let's really find a way to get this guy back? Vernon is really interesting to me. We don't know when he would be ready to play again. We don't know how he would come back from that Achilles. He's at that weird age where we just don't know – uh, you know how that Achilles is going to affect him. Now it's interesting in the NBA. We've seen older guys come back from Achilles injuries. You know, Kevin Durant is, is one of those guys that's playing really well off an Achilles. I don't know how that translates to the football field, but we're seeing guys in that old range who have had success coming back from that. If you could get Vernon on a reasonable, I don't know, couple million bucks, kind of stash him away and see if he can help you down the stretch run. I wouldn't be opposed to doing something like that with him. And, you know, he really played well for you in the second half and, if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. It, it's not an expensive uh, an expensive thing. Higgins is really interesting, too. Uh, I'm curious to see how the Browns approach that. I don't think you just let Higgins walk, but at the same time, you've got so many resources tied up in that receiver room. It, something's got to give there because this isn't an offense that uses a bunch of receivers. So uh, Higgins is a guy that bring back because he's got that connection with Baker Mayfield. And he's just there when Baker needs him to be there. And you might have to make some other moves elsewhere, but I would bring back Higgins if the price is right. So Pro Football Focus has kind of done a projections of what guys will make and um, where they might sign. Higgins, they project two years, $10 million, and they think he's going to the Titans. Do you, if, it's, if it's two years at $10 million, you've already got 30-some million tied up between Landry and Beckham. Does, is, it, is it reasonable to think... Higgins might be able to get $5 million from the Browns. You know, that's where it gets interesting. I, he could, but again, like I said, when, once you start paying all these receivers, you have to look at this offense and wonder if it's the right thing to do. We know this is a, a – they like to use 12 personnel. They like to use 13 personnel. You know, those two, three tight end sets. I don't know if they ever played four wide receivers on the field at the same time outside of maybe a stray Hail Mary attempt or something like that. This has been an offense that plays at most three receivers in normal situations. So at some point, you do have to look at how you're spending your money at that position and say, how many guys can we actually pay here for it to make sense? So there probably is a breaking point with Higgins. I would think two years, $10 million. That's a pretty easy contract to manage. And if you moved on after next year, whatever it looked like, I would think that's a manageable contract to give him. 